Okay, so next one is now I'm gonna set up g x equal to x square plus one because we have drawn uh, x square graph already. So I'm not gonna cover that anymore. But instead, I'm gonna introduce a new uh, functions graph. Okay, so this case we can also explore using maybe five random x value so maybe zero negative one negative two one and two here okay now g negative two means we are plugging negative two into x x value so become negative two x square plus one what is the negative two square which is four so become plus one becomes five right so let's find another one. So g negative 1. Then this become negative 1 square plus 1. So it become 1 plus 1. So equals 2. So uh, in this case, uh, negative 2 output can, can be 5, negative 1, 2. You do all the similar procedure, then you will get 0. I mean the 1 and 2 and 5 here. Okay. Let me plot those points on the plane graph. So, negative 2 and 5, negative 1 and 2, 0 and 1, 1 and 2, and 2 and 5 here. If I connect them, become like this right so let's go to GeoGebra and then what is the difference between our original parent function and then gx equal to x squared plus 1 so now we have uh, y equal to x squared graph right here yes okay then now I'm gonna turn it on gx x squared plus 1 so what do you see so green one indicates what are fx equal to x square graph and orange one indicates x square plus one graph. Looks like this origin moved to one shift to one to the up, right? So one move up, so another vertex point become zero comma one. You see that? Okay. Now next one here. So what about we are uh, finding out hx equal to x square minus 1. So similarly, we can do exactly the same um, procedure. So I'm going to uh, input certain x value and then we can find its output value. So, maybe 0, negative 1, negative 2, and 1 and 2 here. You plug negative 2, then this becomes negative 2 square minus 1. You, we know negative 2 square minus 4, so 4 minus 1 becomes 3. If you plug negative 1, then becomes negative 1 square minus 1. So, become 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So, the outputs are a little bit different from what we have found from the previous one. So, we become 3, 0. If you do the same procedure, then you will get negative 1, 0, and 3. Let me plot those points on the plane graph. So, negative 2 and 3. Negative 1 and 0. 0, negative 1. 1, 0 and 2 and 3. So I connect this point. Then graph looks like this. So go back to GeoGebra again and then let's find out the difference between HX and then given FX graph. So I'm gonna turn it off GX for a second and then turn on the HX here. Then what do you see? Green one indicates fx equal to x square. 
proper one indicates h x equal to x squared minus 1. This vertex point before it was origin point, now we move down one unit, right? So based on this, now we can also conclude one result here. So based on f f x equal to x square, if any function is given g x equal to x square plus b, then what does that mean? Yeah, f x move up b unit, and then if given h x equal to x square minus b, then f x move down b unit, right? Okay, then now here's one challenge problem. What if I give you maybe a x equal to x minus 1 square plus 2? Can you conjecture the behavior of this function? In other words, transformation of this function from the f x equal to x square. So I temporarily delete plus 2 here. So maybe hide it using highlighter. So let's think we don't have this one. Then you know that this one fx equal to x square will move to one unit to the right. Go back here, right? Then b unit to the right. So now we can say this one one unit to the right. And then now I'm gonna just uh, recover this one and instead covering this one temporarily. Then this looks like um, x square plus 2. Then can you conjecture how this function transform of fx? Yes, moving 2, right? So before we don't have 2, it was moving 1 unit to the right. Now we temporarily hide this one and then to recover this one, then we know that fx move up to the two units. If you combine them, this whole thing we can conjecture fx move one unit, one unit to the right, and then move up two units. Make sense? Okay. Let me uh, clarify whether our conjecture was correct. Okay. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra and then we'll show this graph. So I'm going to turn, uh, turn off this one and then another one. So AX equal to X minus 1 square plus 2. So what happened? We conjecture the vertex point from its origin here, then in moving one to right, move to up here. You see this? Up, um, right one, up two. So our conjecture was correct. Just one more. What if I give you Px? x plus 2 square minus 5. Then now we can say this one move 2 unit to the left and down 5. Right? So let's try to confirm our answer. So I'm going to make bx equal to x plus 2 square and minus 5, right? And I'm going to turn, turn it off and then just compare our uh, original parent function and this bx function here. As you see, before it was x squared right here. Now, in moving to the left 2 and down 5. Do you see this? Yes. Therefore, 
you can apply um, this total four property so one so one two and three four property and then you can combine together okay then that's actually you can interpret uh, functions especially the quadratic functions transformation